Good day, learners! This is Easy Engineering. And for today's topic, we're going to talk about plants and its basic structure. Before we start, did you know that farts are ingredient food for the plants? Amazing, isn't it? That the ways for humans are the major food for the plants. Plants are very essential living things that are seen anywhere in our surroundings. We know that plants are very important for us humans and for any living organism. But why? They don't just serve as delicious and nutritious food we eat every day, but because they can also clean the air we breathe. Or else, we're just inhaling back the gases that we exhale, including our own farts. Nasty! Besides, they serve as a food for some animals and also prevent natural calamities such as flood. But unlike any living organisms, plants make their own food. The question is, how do they do it? The answer is, photosynthesis. Photosynthesis comes from the word photo, which means light, and synthesis, which means putting together. It is a process that plants use to take the energy from sunlight and use it to convert waste gases such as carbon dioxide coming from the surroundings, minerals from the soil, and water, combining it together to become a food for the plants. That is why plants need to be exposed to sunlight and need to be watered regularly. To further discuss, let's take a look at this figure. Plants need three basic things to live, and these are water, sunlight, and carbon dioxide. Unlike living things like us, plants breathe in carbon dioxide and they breathe out oxygen, which is an opposite to what humans do. Plants are the major source of oxygen on planet Earth and help keep us alive. On the other hand, plants use sunlight as energy. They absorb sunlight using a compound called chlorophyll that are found in the leaves of the plant. Chlorophyll is green, which is why almost all leaves of the plants are green. Plants get the water from the soil below. They absorb the water to their entire surface, but mostly they absorb using the roots. Take note that carbon dioxide plus sunlight plus water Putting it together becomes the food for plants and oxygen for humans. Even if plants need sunlight and water to live, different plants need different amounts of each. Learning about the needs of plants can help you learn how to treat your plants in your yard for them to grow. And now, let's talk about the parts of the plant. Just like humans, plants has its own basic parts. Let us discover things about them. The basic parts are the roots, stem, fruit, leaf, and flower. Roots are the bottom part that holds the plant in the ground and helps it get water from the soil. The roots of a plant grow underground. Sweet potatoes are examples of the roots that can be eaten. Stem helps hold the plant up and support the leaves and flowers. It can be thick or thin. It also allows water and nutrients flow up to the leaves. Sugarcane and asparagus are examples of stems that we eat. Fruits are the best parts of plants, don't you think? But it also serves another purpose. It protects the seeds and helps them get moved from one place to another. If the seeds are scattered in the ground or manually planted with proper care, it will become a new plant and will produce another fruit. Leaves absorbs energy from sunlight as well as collect carbon dioxide from the air for its own food. It has different shapes and sizes, but most of them are flat and green. Some examples of leaves we eat are cabbage and lettuce. 
Flowers are the parts of plants that make seeds and fruits. Flowers are colorful to the eye and attract animals like bees. Some examples of flowers we eat are lavender and roses. So, we are done discussing the basic part of the plants. I encourage you to go outside and check the different parts of the plants. But please do not pluck these plants because it serves a very important role to us humans. Not only for food, but also for our main survival. Other planets probably don't have humans because they don't have plants. But that's for the scientists to figure out. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.